What the freak is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, it's December 4th. It's Monday. Uh, so that means we're going to hit a massive back day today. So I'm super excited for that. Um, just a little update. I was 175.6 this morning. We're about a month and a half post show. So that's pretty freaking good. Um, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, body mass percentage has gone up a little more, but that's to be expect as expected post show. Um, but I am enjoying myself. But um, right now we're gonna go ahead to the gym. It's early, eight o'clock, so we're just gonna kill this day. Um, I had two rice cakes with honey this morning, um, and that's all. And then my pre-workout. So um, get a little bit of carbs in me and um, some simple sugars, and. Hopefully we feel pretty good for this workout. So I am on a five on two off split for about a month now um, and I'm really liking it. So I've had two days to rest, which is really good. That's why I'm hitting my big movements and the movements I want to improve on early in the week. Um, just so I have that nice rest during the weekend. Um, and I'm also doing six to seven days of cardio still. Um, I'm, Kind of sticking to the Stairmaster, doing incline treadmill every once in a while. I'll run every once in a while too, um, but I think I'm going to stick with the incline treadmill, maybe the bike today. My knees kind of bother me, and um, I have to hit legs with my coach tomorrow. Speaking of that, that is the first day back that we are going to hit a workout with coach, so I'm really excited and just a little nervous though because I haven't lifted heavy um, for quite a while with legs at least so should be interesting all right guys so real quick uh, here's my gym fit for the day so um, I know it's kind of weird but I, my theory is um, if you look good you feel good and you're gonna perform well so I've been kind of trying to upgrade my wardrobe a little bit um, especially at the gym I you know just getting nice shoes on and stuff like that it just makes you feel good so I got the Alpha Lee, uh multi logo shirt i actually got that at outland um when i was there for summer shredding uh, these were my competition shoes so i had had these for a year hadn't opened the box or worn them and then i decided to pull them out for my show so but now i'm kind of wearing them every once in a while especially if it matches so they're the whites with the blue air force ones nike shorts and yeah and then we got a nike dry fit underneath so so there's my uh, little little uh, wardrobe haul, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go hit this workout, and uh, I'll see you guys at the gym.
All right, guys, so we just got out of the gym. Killer freaking workout today. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty tired. Um, but we did seated calf raise as our first movement. Um, I did 75 pounds on like the pendulum one. Uh, so pretty good. I did four sets of like 12 to 15 um, and just really focusing on um, the top of the uh, movement, so the top of my calves. Like I said, I've been hitting calves like three times a week. I definitely noticed a difference, so um, pretty happy. Then we went to a um, landmine row. Um, I ended up with four plates in my top set. I did a set of six, um, which is pretty good because considering like I haven't done landmine rows just because they're not the best um, on your back, especially if you don't have the best form during like prep at least So I haven't done those in a while, but I was pretty happy with that um, I ended up doing a drop set to my last set. So it was three plates and then uh, I dropped two plates. So to one um, but That felt re really good. I ended up I think total like six sets. So pretty happy with that and then the drop uh, Then we went over to the hammer strength pullover which you guys saw so really just focusing on that contraction really making sure my back is up against that pad and just you know um, really widening my lats which is um, which is definitely a, a point that I'm really trying to uh, I'm trying to make a statement on uh, rebuilding my lats and making a bigger and just overall um, better rounded when I lean out uh, one thing we notice is um, they, now they were good for first show but they weren't great and I want them to be great and um, one of the ways to do that is just width and as you lean out the width kind of sh shrinks so it's not as that much there um, so which means on off season you really have to grow them in order for them to um, you know stay rounded when you lean out uh, and then I think we did four sets uh, film two four sets of yeah four sets to 12 um, and then like my first set though, I went like 20, so it was 12 to 20 reps. Um, and then dumbbell row, um, I ended up doing like seven sets, but I went to 110s, which I haven't touched in a while. Um, so I was happy about that for eight. Um, so nothing too crazy, but um, overall really good. 
and then a wide pull down, which I was just really, really focusing on um, the eccentric of the exercise, and uh, it's definitely made a difference. I really um, have tried to perfect my form with wide pull downs. Um, pull downs in general, close reverse grip, but especially wide, just to widen my back, um, because. You could pull as much weight as you can from up top, but if you don't have proper technique, like if you really aren't focusing on the weight that you're actually pulling, it's not gonna do a whole lot, you know? So, and uh, I've been really working on that. So hopefully we'll see a difference from what I looked like on stage um, and then next time I step on stage. And then I did, um, I've been doing hanging leg raises like religiously every day, but um, I did like 150. I just did them in between sets and then like every once in a while I hit a pose in between sets. Just keep the blood moving and uh, just keep that conditioning um, because one thing I really want to improve on is just conditioning because uh, the next few shows that I might uh, be doing are a very competitive field and I know that comparisons uh, they make you work and they make you sweat. So I really want that conditioning so I can um, definitely uh, keep up with everybody. Uh, hopefully out school everybody on their conditioning as well. But um, so all in all, just a really good day. Uh, I think it's National Cookie Day. So um, I really want a crumble cookie, but I'm trying to be really good this week. So so I'll let you guys know. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my back day. I'm really trying to get in the mix of back to like vlogging or um, you know making content cool now and um, yeah so uh, sorry about the show day video I know like I've been I, I just have slacked on it um, so I'm real I'm gonna work on that this week that's my goal is to finish that video up for you guys get it up and then um, obviously this will be posted first because um, I really want to take my time editing and making it right I mean, it's not going to be perfect. I'm not no social media king, so I have no clue. I'm just doing all this shit by myself, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, we're going to go home, uh, probably shower up, maybe take, maybe do like a protein shake, because um, I really don't want to eat quite yet until lunchtime. It's 10.30, so I think it's a little early for me to do something too big, so maybe just two scoops of protein and some water, and then... Um, then about noon, 12.30, I'll eat lunch. With all that being said, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Follow your dreams, follow your heart, follow your passion. Peace out. I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, hopefully, it will be arm day when I, um, this next video.